Hi, I'm talking to Marius Bauer, and uh, Marius is the founder of uh, the Gaian Project, um, which originated as a collective art project back in 2007, and is currently evolving into uh, Gaian Me, the Gaian community. So um, I uh, called Marius in Munich, um, and uh, Marius, um, hi, great to great to be talking to you today. Um, hey, hey, perhaps Thanks we could. Thanks a lot for having me. <laughs> it is our pleasure. Um, perhaps we could just start. Uh, perhaps you could just tell us um, a bit about the, uh, the the evolution of the Gaian project uh, and um, how you've come to uh, the the point of uh, uh, preparing to launch your new community website. Great, sure. Okay, yeah, um, we started in two thousand seven uh, as a small community project with uh, ten to twenty people. And we were thinking about how we could raise awareness for climate change um, in a digital project to, to reach more people online. And so we were thinking about um, we're going to do what we li really like to do and said we're going to do a digital art pack with uh, uh, artworks dedicated to nature to, to raise the awareness for, the, for this topic. Yeah. And it grew more and more through the years because people really liked the outcome of, of what we did. And some really great friends uh, took part in it. And so it grew more and more for the years, and we had a, re a release every year, so 2009 to 2010, um, all the years from 2007 back then. Uh -huh. And it got bigger and bigger, and it was really cool to see it growing for myself because I didn't have to do much to do it because people just enjoyed content, which was really cool. Right. Can great, sure. Uh, we started with a customizing um, uh, yeah, goal to, to um, create some art, uh, which is um, going to your desktop so you can use it every day like icons and wallpapers and skins for your programs. So you can uh, really customize your environment because we, we take a lot of time to work with our PCs, most people, and browse the web. And so you have some kind of uh, good vibe around you all the time to, to, to be reminded of nature and maybe change your habit a bit in a positive way. Great. Cool. Yeah. Now, um, I wanted to ask you about the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the choice of the name for the project, Gaia. I mean, of course, this is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the old Greek idea of, of, of the Earth. And recently, uh, the, the British scientist James um, Lovelock has, um, uh, well, he's developed his Gaia theory. Was, what exactly was it that inspired you to, uh, to, to, to call your project the Gaia Project? What was lying behind that idea? Yeah, great. That, that, that was a really cool moment because uh, it was the first time I realized it's going to be really a, coll like a collective project, so it's going to be more people involved. Because um, I came up with the idea to, to have this project, but I didn't really have any idea to, to come up with a name because I'm kind of bad at this. Right. So um, I just uh, posted on the forum on the first website. Uh, we, we had this idea on a forum on customize.org and um, asked the people what, what you could do about it. And they, they came up with things like uh, climatechange.org or... I was like, yeah, that's yeah. okay, but we're going to look for something more artistic, something more with passion and emotion. I said, yeah, somebody came up with the, the Greek goddess, Gaia. Uh -huh. I said, that's really interesting. I like that very much because that has some kind of a community background from, 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 from an artistic background. So I thought about this. And I really, I really looked into it a bit and um, read the theory from, from James Lovelock. I like that every, everything is going to be more interconnected in a collaborative base and a collective. And that was really interesting and kind of very inspiring. I, I liked it because people could get a connection to it. It was a very short name, Gaia. Everybody knew about it. It's going to be a bit uh, about nature and it's going to be about climate change. Yeah. And I wanted to take it to, to a digital Yeah, it experience. works. It works really well. I really like it. Um, very famous. Now, uh, a lot of, a lot of the, um, the artwork uh, on uh, that's, that's been contributed to the Gaia project, um, has a very sort of organic feel to it. Um, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the images seem to suggest, uh, you know, uh, sort of fractal flows and chaotic processes of evolution and, and transformation and so forth. Was that a, a, a conscious decision to, did you encourage people to, to develop ideas in that direction or was this just something that, 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 that emerged. Okay, yeah, um, there are two ways. Uh, I invite some friends uh, from whom I knew they will do some good artworks, like uh, Jared Nickerson or Arkham Year. And I knew they're going to do some really high quality work. And I 
I guess, the full freedom to say, yeah, you can create whatever you want to, but it just has to relate to nature in some kind of way. And so we, we were trying to keep it very, very open. And I invited some, some friends of mine and some good artists from, from the other networks. But then uh, a lot of people said, yeah, I want to be part of this too. And that's, that was a really cool part because I got a lot of emails from people saying, I want to submit something to this. I, I'm not so good with art, but I want to do something. Yeah. And I said, that's really cool. So um, we had uh, some kind of one, one community of artists who were contributing to it as a small gift to the community. And the community contributing to it as well and coming up with some really cool stuff. And so it was really open and um, we're just trying to keep it focused on nature and yeah. everybody could submit whatever he wants to. So I think that's the background. So people saw the, the past releases and get inspired by nature. Yeah. So you come up with this. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. And, and, and right now you're preparing to launch uh, your new uh, Guy and Community site, Guy and Me. Um, can you tell us uh, a bit about your, your plans for that platform? Yeah. That's really, really exciting um, because we wanted to do this for, for the past years already. And I really want to say thanks to the team who's uh, working on this. Uh, there are 20 to 30 people right now conceptualizing and developing the platform, which is really great. I want to say thanks to all these people, Wow! first of all. yeah. And the cool thing is about this, um, that we are not a company trying to, to come up with a platform or a social network for someone. So it's really a community, which is focused around this theme of uh, awareness of climate change and nature, which is cool. And so we're trying to, to we refine the concept for a guy like me to, to be really a community where we can contribute any kind of art for nature. And we're going to have two more uh, new parts of the website. One is a challenging system, which is going to be really fun, more like a game system. Uh, we're looking forward to that. And a collaborative magazine. So people can submit blogs and um, interviews from local um, activities or organizations and we were hoping to to have a collective magazine, which we really okay. fun. So, now, what you yeah. were telling me before about the uh, the the challenge system sounded really fascinating. Can you tell us uh, a bit about how that is going to work? Yeah, um, I always like to, to have small challenges in life, and I, I see that people really like that, even if they do sports or in their jobs or anything else. And I say, yeah, I'm I'm coming up with a small challenge for myself today. So. Um, the idea behind the challenges on Guyan of me is, um, let's say one of the guys says, uh, I don't want to use a plastic bag today. So um, he's opening this challenge to all the guys. He can say, okay, I'm opening this to all of you. Um, let's come up with some cool ideas to, to not use a plastic bag today. Um, so the other guys could say, okay, that sounds interesting. Uh, maybe you want to submit something. And they think about it and come up with some cool ideas. And they can post images and videos or concepts or something. And your guys can say um, to this uploaded content, uh, this is really cool, I like this very much. So they can celebrate this idea and say, this, that's awesome, I like this very much. And the idea with the most um, celebration points and the, the most contribution um, will get a medal from us saying, you're really cool, you come up with something creative, some kind of art for, for your daily life. And you get a big stamp on your profile saying you, you solved the challenge. <laughs> yeah, um, that's brilliant. Yeah. That's, I, 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 yeah. Really, I really like that idea. Um, That's cool. I, I think it's going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, it's doing a good team on this. I mean, I think I think there's a, a really important lesson there for a, anyone building a, um, a, a community site. Uh, you know, I think it's really val valuable to to offer rewards for um, you know community oriented behavior because that really focuses things and, and and gets people inspired with participating. Exactly. I think it's really good. Really good. Yeah. So. Um,